With Guillem, we decided to carry out this presentation jointly because, in fact, this project coincides with the arrival of Guillem de Fac to the department and ministers Argemon also, of course. So we started by spotting the different initiatives, mapping the different initiatives in the framework of the ICS. We didn't really, I mean, we were not acquainted with the concept back then in 2018. Even today, it's difficult, but imagine then it was even more difficult. We were at the starting point. We spotted powerful projects like the one in Baldebron and another one tomorrow the clinical trial will be presented the clinical trial is on women with post traumatic stress disorder that was uh, exhibited in the walls of this museum there's sonia also we were we've been in touch with sonia and we have started traveling around catalonia in order to nurture these initiatives and bringing on board health professionals like Cristina with the museum and of course we wanted to act as a bridge between culture and health and we realized that Participating in projects of this nature is a source of well-being for participants to the project, be it from the health sector, from the education sector. Well, he's from the culture world. He comes from the cultural Well, and then the pandemic hit us. We had organized an amazing session, a very innovative and participatory session, workshop, we were very, very much looking forward to celebrate it. I am sure you will remember it. It was very cool. But in February, we said, OK, we will have to postpone this and postpone this and postpone this once again. So back in 2019, it was very difficult to, let's say, celebrate it because the project has grown. As Sonia, while well, the project was put in a hold for a period, and after the first wave, as you know, there have been many different waves, COVID waves, that is, all health professionals were asking for more. Or some colleagues were like, oh, people are in bad shape. People need help. People need support. I don't know if you knew it, but in ICS, just in case you didn't know it, in ICS, we gather 8% of primary health care services and 8% hospitals, Barcelona, Valdebron, Canruti, and other hospitals like Toretta in Girona, Villanova in Lleida, Tortosa, Joan 23 in Tarragona, and Below the Cannes Hospital. So people would tell us, listen, the, prog the program is being supported because psychiatric services are taking good care of their patients. But what about other units? What about other Mm, municipalities like Bela Franca with 40,000 workers. Oh, by the way, today it has more than 50,000 staff members. Well, health professionals sometimes tend to be bad at asking for help, you know. They're good at giving help, at providing care, but not at asking for it, right? And then there's the danger of self medication, according to certain research when we face such an important shock between 75% and 90% of health professionals underwent stress or experienced stress after the pandemic. And it's a double-faced stress because they have stress, uh, professional stress, and then individual stress, all the possible forms of stress that anyone can experience. And of course, you need to say that and this was during the first wave and this is well now we said okay we need to do something about it and we started reflecting about things and we were like oh there's museums museums are very um, much on board in fact we had more participants than the than, than, than the ones we could deal with at the beginning and the mapping process helped us 
the site the target, the health target. If we do not co-participate between culture and health, this will go nowhere and we need to bring participants on board, otherwise there will be rejection and frustration. So we're like, okay, we're not at a time when people can gather. We have lost our social skills capacity, but we knew that music had been a great deal of support during the pandemic, and we knew that art had been reconforting and rewarding during the pandemic. And we're like, okay, what do we want the museum to be? We wanted people to see museums as a safe environment, as a quality environment as a place of calm. And this is when we decided to publish this leaflet. I don't know if it will hold. This is the leaflet, the artist's leaflet, that allows to launch an individual activity. So we implemented it in 14 museums throughout the territory. As I told you before, the ICS is scattered around the region. And in each neighborhood, there is a library and a primary health center, eight out of ten of which correspond to ICS. And we're like, OK, there are restrictions. So we decided the following. We said, OK, in Leda, there were two museums in which people could participate to the project. What are the main objectives? We knew that the artist's leaflet will not save us from COVID, but we said, okay, if we make sure this person can go to the museum and spend some time, some relaxed time, and being here and now, and this would allow for a certain discovery of the museum discovering the museum and then following the different steps that would bring you, I mean, the lift, the leaflet suggests a few activities that you can undergo or not. Then we knocked. Okay. When you have to implement the project in a month and a half, not like you have much time to look around, right? So we knocked on Valdebron Psychiatry Department where they always open their doors. They buy your And they helped us implement all these actions before summer. Here we have a short list of the different activities that we have implemented that aim at boosting a calm environment. We wanted to make sure that people would, participants could forget about the pandemic for a few minutes and discovered the museum as an environment where to feel at ease. We asked participants to inform us about his state of mind at the beginning of the activity or at the end of the activity. We wanted to know if the visit to the museum had helped him or her participants feel better. Here we have the different scales that we have used, and here we have a timeline, as we said before. We started the timeline in May, then in June the project was presented, and in July the leaflets were scattered around all museums. Sometimes we had to hand them over ourselves around the different museums. No problem, we loved it. So here are the requirements, the criteria of participating institutions. And then we said, OK, all this is based on a parkour in which you choose a piece of art. You need to look for it. You need to see where it is. So at the beginning, when you get to a new museum, you're offered a form, a little notebook, a pen, and a bag. Then we started running out of resources, so we only offered the notebook. Here are the participating centers, and this is the first sentence that you find in the notebook. This is a calm environment. Walk around 
Forget your concerns for a while once you step into the door. Look and walk around until you feel comfortable. Second recommendations. Look for different items and choose one and then follow the indications of the notebook. All these images correspond to museums that are members of the initiative. Then, in order to make it more accessible, we offered it for free anonymously. Of course, we would ask participants to fill in the assessment anonymously. And if they wanted to share their email address, it was an option but not compulsory. And no pre-booking required. And all this with the 15 museums that will allow for a sound distribution. Then, now, according to figures from July 2020 to December 2022, that Janina helped us gather. I can't see her, but I would like to thank her for her very important participation to the project. So we have had more than 2,000 professionals visiting museums. Is it a lot? Is it very little? Well, we lack references from the past, but at least 2,000 people have grabbed this artist notebook home. Out of the participants to the assessment, 9 out of 10 consider it to be positive for their emotional well-being, and 9 out of 10 would recommend it to peers. We have included a couple of quotes from the open field in service, and the first quote is, oh, I could disconnect for a while and connecting to a item of my choice. Another one, it's been very rewarding. Thanks for taking care of us. What about the future? As it has been said before by Guillem, up to quite recently, he was the communication department, IRCC. He came here to Manac and, well, I had left from the department and after the pandemic, there was a first wave, then a second wave, and the different changes. So basically, we have a design. Uh, well, we want to launch an application so that we can reach as many museums as possible. Because of course, if we focus on environmental criteria or accessibility criteria only, well, we believe honestly that. We have a great opportunity ahead, first and foremost, because many museums are looking forward to participate in the project, and secondly, because it's important to open it to citizens. And we have seen over time that more and more professionals attend the museum with their families or in groups. We have not assessed this yet. We know it out of feeling, out of the record. And we're like, well, we're going to go grab them. So we will go to Juan 23, Sar Daniela. And, well, a lot has been done. You know, but, uh, well, Recuperar has evolved. And now we need to give it a new push. The other day we were like, we said, we have some colleagues here of the Postgraduate Diploma Arts in Health, some coming from health, others from culture. We are members of AP Postdoc Certificate. And one of them would say it. He would say, when you learn the project, perhaps it was a little bit too early. We were exhausted. We didn't want to be part to the project. But perhaps today, things would look different because at the end of the day, you know, dissemination. We did a great deal of dissemination. And of course, we organized regional press conferences, etc. As many professionals say, for them, perhaps it was too early. Before, I mean, they wanted to sleep 10 hours in a row, but not being part in a recuperate art project. What about steps for the future? Perhaps we can re-attract them towards us. We are working also because we want to make sure that the APP is not a mere reproduction of the 
notebook. We want it to be different. It's going to be difficult, but we're not so much in a rush. Now we want things to be sound. Perhaps we will be able to launch an alternative APP for schools or for prescription. As the minister and Carmen said, it's been said that health is also contagious. So if we manage to make sure that some people are con are, are infected by culture and health, it would be perfect. It would be nice when we imagine this project based on museums as health a agents. Well, we believe in that museums or you know, community centers or the local music school. And this is about it from my side. Well, when I was preparing this presentation, I looked for the definition of recovering. And I looked for, for synonyms of the concept recover. Well, get better, rebuild oneself, heal. And I told myself, listen, there is perhaps a lack of evaluation for the time being, but we believe that Recuperate can become a tool to promote recovery. I don't know if you have any remark. Well, when it comes to steps forward, it is true that we had to operate very quickly. Perhaps now we would do it differently. I believe we need to raise the topic of the healing wave, probably. Well, I would like to thank Carmen Cabezas, because it's been possible, thanks to her, to set up this umbrella in order to have access to as many citizens as possible and move forward in terms of evaluation, assessment, because the problem in terms of assessing things, well, we know that, right? When you want something to be anonymous. The follow-up is limited, and we knew that it would be difficult, but the application gives us a great deal of opportunities. So for us, Recuper Art is like an umbrella that will allow us to keep working, and it has also freshened our work dynamics. Sonia already did it, but I would like to underline the role of Janina within the museums service to match the dot, and I believe that this is a very interesting initiative, and I would like to invite you now at the end of the conference if you want to go through the Recuperart experience at the end of the room, you will have the opportunity to go through the project, and we believe this is it from our side. Once again, thank you very much, all of you. <laughs> Gracias.